cruise ships is a fantastic option for someone who wants to travel, save money, maybe they want to escape their problems if we're being really real, maybe you've just got out of a breakup, you want a new experience, maybe you just want to feel alive. And as we grow, we learn more about ourselves and I have definitely learned more about myself. And I think one of the main reasons that I went on cruise ships was because I was trying to escape the ordinary. Now, I wasn't seeking like fame or fortune or anything extraordinary. I just didn't want the ordinary. And being that I was 19 and I had no money and I didn't really have any life or job experience, working on cruise ships kind of seemed like the fast track way to get that or to escape the ordinary. So the next few videos I'm going to make are going to be about working on cruise ships because it is a new year, we are in 2024, and what happens in the new year? We all think about things that we want to achieve this year, how we're going to develop ourselves, what we're going to change, in particular, career, jobs, money. So around this time of year, that's when I get the most questions from you guys on YouTube and on Instagram about how you can apply and get a job working on cruise ships. I have been making videos on this subject for over three years now, which is crazy. So I do feel like I've covered most things. However, some things bear repeating. And again, we are gonna go through some new things in the next few videos I'm going to post. So if you are interested in working on cruise ships, then this video is for you and consider subscribing because the next few will be as well. So we covered some reasons why people want to work on cruise ships, but is working on cruise ships really gonna scratch whatever itch you have? Yes. <laughs> it is a fantastic way to run away from your problems. It is a fantastic way to travel, to save money, and it is a fantastic way to feel alive. Because working on cruise ships is incredibly intense. And that intensity is addictive, which is why moi has done it for the last 10 years. You are thrust into this new environment with new people and it really is sink or swim. You either have the ability to make loads of connections learn a new job and do all of the things you need to do or you don't and you quit everything moves at such a fast pace you are stimulated constantly and that stimulation like any drug is addictive and i am not saying this to discourage you because to this day working on cruise ships is the best decision that i have ever made but it is important that you are aware of how addictive ship life is before you go into it and know that the only way you're gonna get out of it is with an exit strategy. And you're probably thinking, Lucy, I haven't even got onto a cruise ship yet and you're already telling me to think of my exit strategy. Yes, I know too many crew members, myself included, who are preaching it's their last contract. It's their last contract, they're never gonna do another one. This is their last contract. And hey presto, two months later, they're back doing another contract because you go home from this stimulating, fun, intense environment to home where it's comfortable, dull and mundane. Yes, obviously it's wonderful to go home, but once the um, excitement of seeing your friends and family is over, which, spoiler alert, it's over pretty quickly, it's boring. And it doesn't matter what the reason is why you want to work on cruise ships. You need to go into it with an exit strategy. For example, okay, I'm going to work on cruise ships for three years because I want a new experience and I need to save money. And after three years, I'm going to come home and with the money that I have saved from working on cruise ships, I am going to open up a business in my hometown. Or I am going to work on cruise ships because I just need a break. I need to feel alive. I need to find myself. I need to learn how to rely on myself. I need to move out of my parents' house. There was a girl that I knew that wanted to move to London. So she was like, I'm working on cruise ships because I can save money and I can improve my English. So that after two years, when I move to London, I'll be f fluent in English and I'll have money in the bank to be able to start a life in London. So that's the example of how working on cruise ships was her stepping stone to get her ultimate dream. And I get it, again, you're probably thinking, Lucy, I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight and you want me to plan what I'm gonna do after I've worked on cruise ships. Like this is all way too far ahead. This is what you need to do. And the good thing is you don't need to stick to this plan because you might get on cruise ships and you might learn that actually 
you hate being a waitress and you don't want to open up a restaurant when you get back. If you don't go on board a cruise ship with an exit strategy, you will end up working on cruise ships forever. And this is no shade to people who have worked on cruise ships for a substantial amount of time. I have. But it is important to remember that cruise ships isn't real life. And that's why it's so fun, because it isn't real. And I am so unbelievably grateful every day that I have such wonderful friendships at home that I have been able to maintain over the 10 years that I have spent at sea. But I also know a lot of people that have worked at sea for 10, 15, 20 years, and they haven't maintained those friendships at home where they live. And consequently, when they go home, they really struggle because cruise ships feels more like home than home. And when I think of the thousands of people that I have met over my time at sea, I am really good friends with four and I keep in contact with about 15. And I've met tens of thousands of people. So this is the first thing that you need to do if you want to work on cruise ships. And if you have the courage to work on cruise ships, you have the courage to sit there and think about the dream that's really in your heart and what you really want to do with this one life that you have. And again, this plan is not set in stone. You might get on a cruise ship and this plan changes, but it might not. And trust me, your future self will thank you for making this plan now. Now, of course, there are people that, you know, working on cruise ships is the final destination. This is for people who are usually from more economically challenged countries, but even people from those parts of the world recognize that they cannot sustain a career on cruise ships forever. Like when I talk to people from India, from the Philippines, they're like, no, I'm gonna do this for 20 years so I can pay off my mortgage and look after my family and then I'm gonna retire. Or then I'm gonna go home and open a business. Like even people who benefit highly from earning the American dollar recognize that working on cruise ships isn't something that they can do forever. It's extremely intense. It's extremely long hours. Have you seen the film uh, Limitless? And you know when he meets it with his ex-girlfriend and she's like, no one can operate at this level and not crash. Cruise ships is kind of similar. Like it's exciting, it's incredible, but you can't work at that level and operate at that level of simulation and not either lose your mind or crash. So my loves, your homework after watching this video is to plan out your future. You need to think about what you really, really want. Do you want to open up a business? Do you want to work for a hotel chain where you live? Do you want to move to another country? How is working on cruise ships going to serve you in that dream? How is it going to be a stepping stone to get to that dream? So do your homework and I'm very excited to see you on a Wednesday where we are going to talk about which job to do. So after you have done your homework and decided what your dream is and how cruise ships is going to act as a stepping stone, then we're going to go through how to select which job to do depending on what your ultimate goal is, what your exit strategy is. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.